Let's quickly revisit a couple of terms that we saw from our last lab and make sure we know how it applies to this week's lab. The origin and insertion. The origin is typically described as the less movable attachment and the insertion is the more movable attachment. But those definitions don't really help us understand what's actually going on when we're looking at a muscle. So let's kind of refine our terminology and think about how those apply to the different um, skeletal arrangements. So when we're talking about the axial skeleton, we will use the terms superior and inferior attachments. Those are very descriptive and because we've been using directional terms, we're familiar with um, how that would be oriented on the body. If we're talking about the appendicular skeleton, we tend to use the words proximal and distal attachments. On the axial skeleton, we generally see the superior attachment moving towards the inferior attachment. That's not the case all the time, but that is generally what we see. So it's kind of good to start with that assumption. And then if anything differs when you're going through all of your muscles, you can make the necessary adjustments. On the appendicular skeleton, the distal attachment tends to move towards the proximal attachment. Another observation I've made is that generally speaking, the insertion moves towards the origin. And that's likely where we got the less movable versus more movable definitions. Um, but I think the more anatomically descriptive definitions are good. Let's take a look at the left biceps brachii. So to keep it simple, I'll just name the major bones for the origin and insertion as opposed to the specific parts, which uh, my students need to know. Um, so the origin of the left biceps brachii will be the left scapula and the insertion will be the left radius. So if we think of that general pattern where when this muscle um, contracts, the insertion will move towards the origin, it therefore makes sense that when this muscle shortens, that it will cause flexion at the elbow. Remember, another major part to understanding body movements is that these muscles will cross joints, and that's the only way we're able to move these body parts. Um, it does cross the shoulder joint a little bit, so um, it can aid in arm flexion ever so slightly, but it's really um, a flexion of the forearm. So think origin is up here, insertion is down here, the insertion moves towards the origin, therefore it just makes sense that the primary action of the biceps brachii is going to be flexion of the forearm. Want to stay up to date on my latest videos? Please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to check my Instagram page at The Anatomy Gal. See you next time.